modernism in Montgomery. Montgomery is known as both the cradle of the Confederacy and the birthplace of the modern civil rights movement. If you ask someone here about our town's historic buildings, they might show you the state capitol and the White House of the Confederacy, or Dexter Avenue Baptist Church and its parsonage in Centennial Hill where Dr. Martin Luther King lived with his family. They may even point out Montgomery's antebellum mansions, its Victorian train depot, and its late 19th and early 20th century commercial buildings. All these buildings tell us a story about our past. Montgomery's mid-20th century buildings, though often not considered historic, tell a story too. Their sleek modernism is a clear break from the historicism of earlier architectural styles. Constructed in the years just after World War II, they express in steel and concrete Americans' hopes for a better future and their desire to put behind them the hardships of the Great Depression and the horrors of World War. Today, we are going to take a look at three examples of modernism in Montgomery dating from this time period. The first is the Grove Court Apartments at 559 South Court Street, the Walter Bragg Smith Apartments, now known as Capitol Towers, at 7 Clayton Street, and the Garrett Coliseum on Federal Drive. Built in 1947, Grove Court encompasses two long three-story blocks, one of which is here, each containing 18 apartment units that flank a U-shaped block of additional apartments. Covered concrete walkways connect the upper stories of these apartment blocks. Glass enclosed stairwells provide access to the upper stories. Plans called for the grounds to be beautifully landscaped and included a play area for children and parking for the residents. Originally, the buildings were painted gray and white and trimmed out in the colors of green, cream, and red. The architectural firm of Pearson, Tittle, Hancock, and Narrows designed the apartment complex in the international style, and Clyde Pearson served as the lead architect on the project. International style buildings have an asymmetrical but balanced composition. Their smooth, unadorned surfaces are punctuated by bands of casement windows, and these casement windows are further delineated by concrete bell courses both below and above the windows. Walls of glass, as we see here in the stairwells, and cantilevered balconies on the upper stories are also important design elements. The roofs are flat with no projecting eaves or cornices, and landscaping can also be an important component as the greenery softens the lines of the international style building. The excellent design of Grove Court Apartments was recognized nationally in Progressive Architecture magazine and in the American Institute of Architecture magazine. Indeed, despite its deterioration, Grove Court is still the best example of the international style in Montgomery, and perhaps even in the state. Still not revolutionary in design, the Capitol Towers at 7 Clayton Street is a good regional example of modernism that was designed by the architectural firm of Sherlock Smith and Adams. Its modernism is expressed through its generally rectangular form, lack of ornamentation, smooth wall surfaces, and alternating bands of single pane windows and glazed hollow blocks across the front facade. The modernism of the design is somewhat abated, however, by the columns located in front of the slightly recessed first story along the facade and partially along the core street side of the building. The 11 story apartment building was constructed circa 1950 at 7 Clayton Street by local real estate developer Walter Bragg Smith. It was another Montgomery response to the national housing crisis. Smith owned various apartment buildings around Montgomery, but this one was the crown jewel of his enterprise. Originally named the Walter Bragg Smith Apartments, the structure contains Smith's offices and 122 apartments. 
and add in Montgomery's 1950 city directory described the apartment building as Montgomery's newest, the South's finest. The building was air-conditioned, unlike Grove Court, had elevators manned by operators 24 hours a day, offered maid service, and had plenty of parking. About 10 years after the building's completion, the restaurant Dale's Roof opened in the penthouse. It was modeled after Dale's Cellar, a notable eatery in Birmingham. In the 1960s, it was the place to see and be seen in Montgomery until the fire. The fire was confined to the penthouse. The rest of the 11-story building was not severely damaged. The tragedy made national news and led to new fire safety regulations across the United States. The penthouse remained a charred space atop William Bragg Smith Apartments until the early 1970s when Skip Hunter bought the building renovated the apartments, and converted the penthouse into offices for his insurance company. He also renamed it Capital Towers. The penthouse is currently vacant again, but all the apartments are occupied. While apartments were being constructed in downtown Montgomery, out on the outskirts of town, near Kilby Prison and Gunner Air Force Base, Another structure was being erected, the Alabama Agricultural Coliseum, now known as Garrett Coliseum, dominates the 118-acre Alabama Agricultural Center complex. The Coliseum is one of the state's most creative and sophisticated examples of mid-20th century modernism. At the end of World War II, Montgomery was known nationally as a livestock center. More cattle were sold here than in any other city south of Louisville, Kentucky, or east of Fort Worth, Texas. Each arching rib that supported a section of the roof rested on a pair of buttress-like braces of reinforced concrete. These braces resembled an inverted lopsided letter V. Not only structurally necessary, these braces also formed a critical design component of the Coliseum's exterior. That meant that there would be no pillars on the inside blocking the view of anyone sitting in one of the 8,500 plus seats in the Coliseum. And that was a unique design for the period. Garrett Coliseum was constructed at a cost of $3 million, and it took about five years from 1948 to 1953. The uh, architectural firm responsible for the design was Sherlock Smith and Adams, the firm, Almond and Whitney, oversaw the construction of these braces in the roof sections with their 11 reinforced concrete ribs. Over half a million board feet of lumber went into the scaffolding that was used to build the roof structure. The construction of the Coliseum also required 2,000 tons of steel and 1,500 cubic yards of concrete. Upon its completion, it contained one of the largest indoor arenas in the country at that time. The Alabama Agricultural Coliseum received regional and national attention. Sherlock Smith and Adams won a design award in 1953 from the Gulf States Regional Council of the American Institute of Architects. A few years earlier, in 1949, the structural engineering firm Almond and Whitney had won an award from the American Concrete Reinforcing Steel Institute for their pioneering and innovative work in concrete design as evidenced by the Coliseum and other significant projects. In 1963, the Coliseum was renamed Garrett Coliseum after State Senator W.W. W. Garrett, who was instrumental in getting it built. Recently, the city of Montgomery acquired the structure from the state. The city plans to refurbish the Coliseum so it can continue to host events that educate and entertain the people of Montgomery. Montgomery is home to historic buildings dating from the early antebellum period up through the mid-20th century. They all reveal to varying degrees how Montgomerians lived, worked, and played down through the years. These buildings tell stories about our city and the people who love it. 
We hope you've gained a new appreciation for Montgomery's mid-20th century icons to modernism.